Well, for nine postseasons, Homer Hankies have been flying strong. The Hanky itself recently went from white to red and back to white. Yeah, it changed from the old school Hankers chip that Amelia has. That's a vintage one to this new kind of towel. But regardless of its form, it's always been a staple for Minnesota fans. So what is the Homer Hanky history? Good question. How the Browns spoke with the creator. Oh, once for me, and once for my sister, and once for my grandson, who's four. <laughs> and he loves baseball. Just because we won't see them on TV. I'll be cheering from my couch. Doesn't mean. So I like his blankie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Homer Hankies. I need two more, please. We got ten. Won't be swirling around. Yes. Yes. This is the plan at home? Yes. 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 Did you have any idea that now 34 years later we'd still be talking about Homer Hankies? Um, I knew how much Minnesota loved him. And so it doesn't surprise me. Terry Robbins came up with the idea in 1987, just before the playoffs. She was the innovation director at the Star Tribune at the time. And when the paper wanted to take advantage of it and sell their sports coverage, Just have that terrible towel. She knew Pittsburgh there. debuted its terrible towels in the 70s. But they were too thick and heavy. So I just thought, let's have a Homer Hanky. And that was just a, a name that we just picked out of the air, you know? And it stuck. So she pitched the idea. So much better than other ideas we had, like blowing whistles. And sealed the deal with this radio jingle. The first game of the playoffs, I had 30 some friends and co workers from the paper handing them out 60,000 free ones on the corner. And nobody wanted any part of it until we started shouting, free, free, free. We had a new ally at hand, the Homer Hanky. Everyone went inside. It was the bottom of the second. When Gary Gaetti homered off Doyle Alexander. My girlfriend, Jean Peterson, grabbed me by the arm. She says, stop, look. And the place was just, what everybody knew what to do with them. And she, I went and look, I looked at her and I said, it worked. <laughs> And now fans go twins <laughs> are hoping it'll work again. I remember back in 1991 when they took it and that gap, I knew they were going to go all the way. And you have the same feeling this year? I got the same feeling this year too. So I believe I have faith. Heather Brown, yep. WCCO, Way to go. 4 News. Oh, well, let's hope he's right. Uh, they started as a collaboration between the team and the Star Tribune, as you heard, and then Cub Foods later joined in. And you can find them at Target Field or Cub Stores. They are $3 a piece, and a portion of the profits does go to charity.